what point does it make sense for a creator to go after or to even focus on um, getting brand deals? Is there a minimum threshold where it's it's it should be on the table and you have to work up to that? Or is it from day one? I'm at a place now and in, in looking at YouTube now intimately for probably close to five years with brand deals. Um, mm -hmm. And just uh, to, to wrap up the last question, part of the um, way we figured out all the options to structure and present deals was because I came from a different world. I came from management consulting. I started working with Tom and he's like, hey, we need to make revenue. Mm -hmm. So just help me figure all this stuff out because he had never done it either. So I, I didn't actually know what the rules were. I literally just right. you know, talked to the brands, we'd listen, and then we'd just kind of figure out solutions on the fly, which um, I recommend that approach at every stage as a creator because um, you know things can always be negotiated, presented that, that don't already exist. It's all about creating value for the other side. And if you can do that um, effectively for them, uh, people are open. You know, I would say, when can you start monetizing? Start monetizing when you truly believe you have a hundred devout people following your YouTube content. I would mm -hmm. say it's less about subscribers, comments, views, how many videos. When you feel through the engagement, through the videos, through whatever other communication platforms you have in connection with your uh, yeah. podcast, YouTube, et cetera, you have a hundred truly devout people following you because I think what it really comes down to again is is helping the brand generate um, exposure and sales. And yeah. so if you have a hundred, if you run a really great ad with a brand that makes sense, it's reasonable to think at least 10% would entertain the offer, right? And if that's right. the case, it doesn't matter if you've got 500 people following. If they're truly devout, uh, there are people who have 20K people, maybe with just maybe 10 or 20, right? Uh, yeah. You never really know. And I think with the where the rubber meets the road is how many people uh, really devoutly follow your content. And then I would say more of a pinpoint view within YouTube from a subscriber standpoint would be 10K. Um, okay. That's the that's the more that YouTube also has for some of their own monetization plays. Uh, but I also think it's a good barometer of, hey, you don't hit 10K unless you've done a certain amount of work on YouTube, just in terms of yeah. learning how it works. Yeah. Uh, but but at the same time, right, again, I, I wouldn't limit it. If, if you already feel like you've got uh, people who are about your content, your message, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, you know, figure out your first 100. But if you haven't done uh, necessarily that analysis, you're already at 10K, go for it because both YouTube and the brand would recognize it. Mm -hmm.